Hey there YouTube, uh, Kalen Hacker here again. Uh, I know I haven't made a video in a while, but you know, better late than never, right? Well, a lot of stuff's going on. Uh, I bought a zero turn mower. I bought a trailer. And I'm using my grandfather's Chevy 2500 HD Silverado to tow it because my 92 F-150 barely pulls this thing. Uh, push mower. Ferris, a couple people on motorcycles, and then the Skag. The Skag's a 61 inch uh, advantage cutter deck with a 25 horse Kohler uh, V twin in the back. Shaft drive mower deck. It's heavier than heck, but it works. It cuts like a hot dang. Uh, I'm at a church I mow now, uh, getting ready to cut it. They want it cut every week, so I'm don't don't ever say no to that even if it's dried out or anything but that's not what this video is about well the trailer i guess i haven't showed this and since i bought it uh, it's a uh, seven foot wide by 12 foot long with the side landscape gate and the double back gates to uh make it easier for loading stuff on the side and everything and it's got this little box in the front for your gas cans and stuff um everything uh lights work and all that these side ones don't but uh yeah so got that and there's my backpack blower there uh and my echo srm 225 trimmer with a uh edget pro on it uh this is what uh ambrose landscaping uses uh, I think that's the only people that use it that I know of. Uh, it basically just helps keep your edges straight for like sidewalks and stuff like that. I haven't done any edging here yet. I tested it out at the house though. I got it today in the mail. Um, it's a really cool div 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 device thing. And uh, it helps keep your edges straight. And I'll demonstrate it here if I can. I'm on my samsung phone so uh i'll try to demonstrate the best i can i built this little trimmer rack too welded onto the frame of the trailer this one's got a bolt into it that holds this uh my spool of wire uh, string here and this helps keep the trimmer from bouncing out when you're going down the road and you just pick it up and swing it over and then you lift this out and then uh Let's see, uh, see if I can show you this thing in action. It's pretty cool. Uh, the big side of uh, the sidewalk, this church is over on the other side, but I'll try to show you right in here. And uh, but yeah, that's that, that trailer is a 3,000 pound rated trailer. I'm probably pushing 3,100 pounds on it because a skag weighs about 2,000 fully fueled up and oil and hydraulic fluid and all that crap. And then I don't know what that Ferris weighs, but it's heavy and that Chevy pulls it like a hot dang. It's got the 6 liter V8 gas in it, uh, V8 gas engine in it, uh, Vortec, and, and it'll just, it'll roll. But uh, let me show you this edging thing here. This way you can trim with it. And like you get up next to a pole or something and this, this guard hits the pole and then you can go right around it and not worry about messing your string up around like them little signs there or whatever. But this just goes in where your edge line is like that. And you can see it it does a good job it's hard to do with one hand but you can see it just lines right up in there with the edge and the string cuts it perfectly and I'll take a picture or two or maybe finish this video off when I'm done uh, I gotta do the edging and trimming and then push mow this couple little spots up in here and then uh, I'll be on the uh, 
skag turf tiger that's what the zero turn is it's uh got 1312 hours on it i think let me see here 1315 and it's a uh it's a really nice machine i mean it rides smoother than a cadillac and you know you just got to go slow oh this trailer had a couple of spots in here in the floor where the gate is as you can see broke through I fell through this one a few times. Let me tell you, that's not fun. Um, but I'll get to weed whacking and let uh, let the good times roll, I guess. I'll get everything weed whacked and then show you the finished product and hop on the zero turn. I just put a new gas tank in the zero turn. You, you can fill it to half. My stupid phone will focus. And then it will be empty by the next morning so I got um, got a new gas tank for it. it cost me an arm and a leg but now it holds gas and doesn't leak everywhere which is nice always a bonus but uh, alright so let me turn this auto focus on there you go now you can see but as you can see this thing replaces the uh, places the guard so you got to be careful with your line you don't want it to get too far out because then it'll bog down the trimmer real bad but you don't want it so far in where it's not doing anything but uh all right well i'll get back to you in a second when i'm well for it'll be a second for you guys but uh my 30 subscribers but it'll be about half an hour for me because there's a crap ton of trim in here all right talk to you in a minute All right, well, I got all the push mowing done. Uh, I do a, round, a lap around everything. And up in the front there, there's a little... Uh, there's a little dip there. I do the push mowing with that. Because uh, this thing scalps it. But I just want to show you that what the edge it does. Um, you just stick it down in the thing and walk right along. and You can see how good those edges are. I mean, it's like perfect and the whole way down, minus a couple little hiccups, but it works really good. So I'm going to get the mowing. I cut this at about four inches. Uh, last time I mowed it at three and a half, but today I'm going to mow it at four because it looks like it's starting to die because we ain't had no rain. Uh, cut it four and stripe it real good and then make it uh, make it uh, so it'll grow a little bit more and then next weekend when I cut it or next week when I mow it I mow it every week so next week when I do it it'll look uh, it'll actually cut some alright I'll get back to you when I'm done and if I don't uh, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing and all that and see you in my next video